What happens when you put a golf ball in water? It sinks. What happens when you put a tennis ball in water? It floats. Why do some objects sink and some objects float? It has to do with density. Density is how tightly packed the matter is inside an object. Dense objects have more mass per volume than less dense objects. That means there is more matter packed into a smaller space. Think of the golf ball and the tennis ball. A tennis ball is larger than a golf ball, but if you were to hold them both at the same time, it actually feels lighter. A golf ball is more dense than a tennis ball. It has more stuff packed inside it. A tennis ball is hollow inside. It is full of air, which makes it less dense. Density is measured by dividing the object's mass by its volume. Mass is the amount of matter that makes up an object. It is usually measured in grams. Volume is how much space the object takes up. It is usually measured in cubic centimeters. So density is measured in grams per cubic centimeter, or g per cm cubed. The density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. What is a cubic centimeter? Think of a cube made of squares with sides measuring one centimeter. If you filled that cube with water, it would hold one gram of water. If an object is more dense than water, it will sink. If it is less dense than water, it will float. Imagine cutting a cube out of the golf ball with sides measuring one centimeter. This cube of golf ball would have a mass greater than one gram. The golf ball is more dense than water and will sink. If you could cut a cubic centimeter sized piece out of a tennis ball, it would have a mass less than one gram and will float. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For lesson materials that go along with the video, be sure to check the link in the video description. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.